what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm brace and i'm zuff and today we are back with another movie for the 25 days of movies today we are watching luca to be honest guys i know nothing about this movie i'm not even sure if i've seen a poster of it before could cannot even begin to think of what it's about but i'm i'm assuming it's gonna be possibly like encanto coco vibes hopefully those are both great movies so i know it's disney pixel slash pixar and those are usually a fun time but yeah other than that guys like i said i'm going in pretty blind on this one um i've seen the the young fella on tiktok a bunch of times the you know the meme if you've seen it for sure it's just like a little like a, a riz kind of move I'll definitely know when I see it in the movie, but that's about all I know about it. It's called Luca. Maybe someone's name is Luca. Very cool name. I'm excited to start this. Yeah, I also just like don't know much about this film at all. Obviously, no, it's animated. And I think like based off of the poster slash logo, it's like wa water related kind of. I think there's water in this. I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm guessing the main character is Luca but I have no clue what the story could be about. I'm pretty sure a lot of people said this one's emotional. A lot of these movies can be these Disney, Disney movies. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure it'll be a great story. It's been requested a lot over the past few months. So I'm glad we're finally getting around to it. And hopefully it's a good movie. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it before we do get into this movie. If you have been liking all of the movie reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got our Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias, our second channel, and our P.O. Box. Make sure to check all those out. And with all that being said, we're going to get right into this movie. Another movie for the 25 days of movies, Luca. Let's do it. Do you really believe we see monsters? So many strange things have been seen in these waters. They're all just stories. Tall days to keep us away from a great fishing spot. But Tommaso... Mm, I think we're going to see some sea monsters. This already reminds me of Sea of Thieves. Ah, that's more like it. I'm getting like Titanic vibes. Really? No. Just name another thing that has water and boats on it like you. <laughs> and sea monsters? I think that... I don't know. What do you think took it down? Iceberg. Uh oh. Mermaid. <laughs> I feel like the sea monsters might be kind. Eh. These. Sea friends? What is that? Oh, our meal is our oh no. Caught in the net. This is a strong sea monster. Bigger than I thought. Whoa. Build it. It's gonna float up. What a monster. Horrified. I'm already loving this. We didn't even get to see him yet. I feel like he's gonna be a cute monster. Yeah, look. I don't think that's him. Probably looks like him now. Oh my, that's not what a fish does. Good morning, Mr. Branzino. And also, I'm sorry. Perhaps Mrs. Branzino. Hi, Luca. 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 Giuseppe, what did we just talk about? They're like sheep. Ah, oh, Giuseppe. To him. <laughs> yeah, he's hurting them. He's even got the little stick. Mm -hmm. And he, the one made a noise and it sounded like a sheep. What kind of uh, fish is Luca? An eel? Luca? I don't think he's a fish. A monster? It looks like an axolotl or whatever those things are. Like Ratchet. No. I think Ratchet is a alien <laughs> from a video game. Okay, all clear. It is these guys trained well. Now they're gonna uh graze. Ooh. Didn't that fall out of the uh. boat? Ooh, card. And then the last thing he should find is a music thing. Wrench. Land monsters! Everybody under the rock! Land monsters. What are they gonna do? Not get caught. I know, but like what would they have done? I bet there's people that like dive in there and they have the net, right? Yeah.
I wanna see where the people are. Is that a song? The Little Mermaid. <laughs> How does he do that with the water? He wants to go up to the upside, like the uh, the real world. Land. Un underwater is the real world too, but <laughs> he wants to be above water. Ooh, it kind of looks like Frodo's house. A little hobbit hole. Yeah. Frodo's house is much nicer, but Frodo's house is so cool. It's, it's like my dream house. What's on your mind? I, I, I will. I, I was just wondering, where do boats come from? <laughs> That's supposed to be like where the where do babies come from? We do not talk, think, discuss, contemplate, or go anywhere near the surface. Got it? Yes, mom. He's going to that surface. We know. Oh it. yeah. I really want to know what kind of fish he is. I think he might just not be a fish. I don't think they're fish. Yeah, I think he is. They talk. I think they're like Atlanteans. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Goodness. This reminds me of Nemo. Yeah, it kind of does. No way that he can keep up with you in the water, though. <laughs> sort of trapped himself. Man, went to the worst place possible. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not. Uh -oh. oh, thank goodness. Do you live around here? Down here? No, 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 no. I just came for my stuff. Ooh. Was this guy um maybe the first one that was like trying to steal stuff? Because he said I'm coming. Oh for my yeah. Stuff. He's going up. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, he just turned oh. into a human. Oh. oh. Wow. So they're human. I mean, yeah, they're definitely just mythical creatures. That's the guy on the left that is on TikTok. I'm a good kid. I'm not supposed to be a kid. Good day. He'll be back up. That's so cool, that, like the transition though they have. He's gonna get back up. I'd be scared too. Can you imagine you get in the water and you turn into one of them? Wow. Ah! That was hard to watch. Here. Come on. This is the bad kid around the bottom of the, the ocean. Mischief maker. I wonder how they do this. <laughs> what? Sea critters. Turn human. I think it's just like a Disney movie. Well, I was. I don't think they like try to change. I think it's just their body does yeah. it. Yeah. How they Adap are. Maybe adapts to the environment. It feels like it's still there. Yeah, that's called Phantom Tail. You'll get used to it. I've heard about that. Like, if you like lose a arm Phantom or something, limb. yep, you can like kind of still feel it. Walking is just like swimming, but without fins or a tail, and also there's no water. Otherwise, it's like the exact same mm -hmm. thing. Give it a try. Mm -mm. <laughs> It's nothing like swimming. It'd be crazy trying to learn walking, like, as an, a teenager, just yeah. to, like, talking you through it. Crazy how we all learned how to walk at some point in our life. Yeah. Usually well, pretty early on. But most animals are actually born and they know how to already walk yeah. and stuff. Yeah, like, we're, like we're the deer. slow ones. Yeah. The slow ones, but we end up being the most intelligent. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. I'm getting it. Let's go, humans. Yes. Humans are saving the world. It's a human thing. I'm kind of an expert. What does it mean? Oh, I think that is right there. Right there. <laughs> that is it. That's, That's it. it? Uh-huh. What was the meme? It's like he bites his lips and it, it was, it was, you'd have to see one. Me and my dad. He's not even here a whole lot, so I pretty much just do whatever I want. Isn't it dangerous? Yeah, it's the best. Everything good is above the surface. Like, what else? Air. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> Sounded like you got some bad air over there. <laughs> you learned how to walk. See, I've been collecting for a long time. He just collects whatever people drop. Or I think he tries to take stuff too, actually. The Vespa. Whoa. You just sit on it and it takes you anywhere you want to go. Vespa is freedom. How does he know how to read English? I think they're Italian. Yeah. I mean, that's not what it does, really. If my parents found out I was up here, oof, it would be bad. So thank you, but. What a Vespa, though. Goodbye. Forever. No. 
no. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> We're building the Vespa. Luca, where have you been? Uh, don't say surface, don't say surface. Surface? Huh? <laughs> what did you just say? What's wrong with your foot? <laughs> no, oh, nightmare. nightmare. Uh, okay. Tell us where you were. Uh, I was tricked. I sent him to look for sea cucumbers. Right. Cool, Grandma. Grandma's cool. She looks scary in her sleep, though. You ready to ride it? There's no way. Oh. But if they land in water, they just turn into fish. Yeah, whatever they are. I'm more of an idea man. I love No. Oh, oh. okay. Well, we got a wheel though. One wheel. Okay. Okay. Wow. Nice. You gonna fish? He's dead. I killed him. <laughs> and your Vespa's broke. That'd be so. It's so much cooler doing a cannonball turning into a fish when you get in the water. Yeah. I would. If I turn into a fish, I would swim around the ocean. The whole thing? Uh huh. Damn. You get eaten by First a shark. First one to do it. You think a shark would get me? Yeah. Yeah. What if I turned into a shark? Then a whale would get you. I don't think whales eat sharks. I don't think so. They might if you Orcas, look at them maybe. wrong. The, what's the, uh, the, the sea monster? The, the Kraken. Kraken. Yeah. Yeah, you'd run into one of them. You'd hit the Bermuda Triangle and just get lost forever. They're just inventors. <laughs> I think they're just trying to create the Vespa. Yeah, they're just the best try version of the Vespa. They keep doing more variations of it. <laughs> Couple of studs. Best friends. Who's holding the ramp? The turtle. Oh. It's faster than he looks. Oh, there goes his shell. I know your problem. You got a Bruno in your head. We don't say about Bruno, Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Come on, boys. Oh, keep it together. Let's go. They're flying so high. We're with the birds now. Eat one. Oh. Oh. That's a bad place to land. Oh, that's a good kickoff. And the big fish protects them. I touched it once. <laughs> okay, dude. Have you ever gone to the human town? Yeah. Uh, no. But, <laughs> but my dad told me all about it. Your dad sounds so cool. You're lucky he lets you do what you want. Yeah, for sure. Who's his dad? I feel like maybe he's just not around. Wouldn't it be amazing to have a real Vespa? Yeah. <laughs> That's the dream. <laughs> I kind of want to ride a Vespa now. It's basically a scooter. You can ride them down in the, the city. Yeah, but I think in Italy would be a lot better. Yeah. This doesn't look like Italy, though. Luca, take over. Looks like the Windows background screen. That's a big ramp. Come on, yeah! Oh my, they're gonna touch the big fish in the sky. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> he touched it. Oh no. Silencio Bruno. Oh, that's a good question. If it rains, will they turn into fish? You think it'd probably be more of a proportional body of water? What? Uh, what is it? Just a word that didn't belong there. You need to promise us that you'll never sneak off to the surface again. It's not that dangerous up there. Maybe I could show you. I told you, our son. Oh, they've way. definitely been up there before, right? The show. Me and my friend, Alberto. Ah, yes. There's usually a bad influence. Is that the grandma? No. <laughs> this is my brother, your Uncle Hugo. Thanks again for He's an anglerfish? <laughs> At, At least he has the anglerfish teeth and 
lamp on his head. I think you can see his insides. What? Yeah, they're see-through. Oh. They're see-through. Yeah, or translucent. That's right, the red thing. Punch it. Harder! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. I don't like that. No, they're deep sea creatures. Freaky aliens. I think this is like a mix between what they are and an angry fish. Definitely. Come on, no time to waste. Mom, what does he mean? You're going to stay with Uncle Ugo for the rest of the season. Down low. I bet you he lives deep. I know you, and I know what's best for you. It's done. Run away, kid. Run away. Run away, kid. Run away. Where's even, grandma? Even underwater, kids still want to disobey their parents. Yep. Rebel. Will they come looking for you over there? Ooh. No. Yeah, let's go that's over. That's crazy. I mean, that place must be full of Vespas. You think that's Paris? Paris? We're yeah. in Italy. Yeah, Venus. What? The planet? No, Venus. V I E N I C. Venice. Venice. Oh, you sorry. know it's Venice. Uh, you, you knew it was uh, Venus. You were just I didn't. playing a bit there. I promise you I would have said Venus 10 out of 10 times. Silencio, <laughs> Bruno. Alright, we didn't have to do that. We're hey, fun, though. you stop it. You the fun police? <laughs> Just don't get wet. <laughs> They're gonna have times like where their hand gets wet yeah. and it turns. Oh, I stepped in water. Uh oh. Grandma. Pretty cool, right? Hey, you do it now. Just say the thing. I bet she wanted these. Oh no. Grandma. what's wrong with you, stupid No. <laughs> That's the only thing they know. Oh. Everything is themed after killing fish. Sea World. Oh, best boy. <laughs> what are they carrying back there? Looks like dough. Or a sandwich? Or a sandwich. <laughs> That Vespa's ripe for the taking. It looks nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Save the Vespa. <laughs> it looks like freaking Lightning McQueen scooter form. I am Darko Leviscotti, five time winner of the Porto Rosso Cup. The Porto Rosso what? The Porto Rosso Cup. Hey, stop looking. She's too beautiful for you. I, uh, uh, I, uh, <laughs> this guy is a real mean guy. Chicho, wait up. What are you doing? Luca. No, no, no. no. I love the, all their voices. Hop on. I can use the extra weight. What's this cup? Is it like a, a like a race? It's a race. No, I think it's a race, right? No, I mean he said he. How do you think I paid for my Vespa? What? The, so why is it soccer? I think it's just my guess. I think it's like a racing because she's riding a bike, he has a Vespa. I just want it to be soccer. Race. Oh. I appreciate the the desires up. Let's go soccer. <laughs> That's because he's wearing his shirt. You kind of look like a Vespa right now. Same color. <laughs> Dude, uh, not um, everything red is a Vespa. Yeah. It's not Lightning I'm, McQueen. I'm a human version of Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Are you in town for the race? The Porto Rosso Cup? I gotta deliver these. Always be training, you know? <laughs> They're gonna race. Ew! You do that. No! <laughs> not a very convincing no. <laughs> no! I don't. When you race... In a cup, what do you get? Sozzi, prize money. Oh. Okay. I'm kind of learning, like, some Italian. Display it. What, what'd you learn? Sozzi. Which means? Money. Scusi me. Silenzio, Bruno. 
Oh, yellow Vespa. No, but it could get you that. Oh, <laughs> pink Vespa. Well, he just fell in love with this rusty little thing. As Zuff would call it, the pink Vespa. So we'll beat Ercole. Oh, really? Seems to beat Ercole this guy. First of all, get in line. Every summer, that jerk makes my life miserable. So no one hey, can get down unless it's me. All right, we'll join our team then. Yeah. It's an epic, grueling, traditional Italian triathlon. Swimming, cycling. Oh, okay. So oh, they can't. gotcha. Damn. Well, they actually can. I mean, They're like, very good at it, they, but they won't be able to show themselves. They turn into underwater creatures. Oh, they make her swim. Yeah, that's the easy way around it. They make her swim. Congratulations, you're joining our team. Ha, I race alone. Then again, it looks like she rides the bike. Under the dogs too. Hey, it's okay, Luca. She Under the dogs. Do the whole race alone Under again. dogs. Maybe this time she won't throw up as much. Uh, the, hang on. She threw she threw up because she was eating pasta. For show. Let's see what you got. Gotta learn how to ride a bike first. <laughs> this movie's about underwater creatures learning how to ride. And walk. <laughs> Giving him the practice chirp. Don't fall in the water. Why are we getting close to water? Yeah, I love how up. they say silencio, Brun. That's my favorite. My family was gonna send me somewhere horrible, away from everything I love. But if we win this race, well, we can be free. My life's great. I'm just helping him out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be free though. You you want to go back to your parents, right? How is it making free? Isn't he just free right now? He wants to get a Vespa and ride it across the world. Underdogs? Underdogs. Underdogs. Under the dogs. Under the sea. Hey, Papa. I brought my friends for dinner. Is there enough for four? He's freaking me so sweet, I bet. What's wrong with you, stupid? Oh! <laughs> I think that's the greeting. Why do you think he kills with those? Anything that swims. <laughs> At least with your mom and today. Yeah. Is whatever they're about to eat going to be, like, considered cannibalism? <laughs> I think it's going to be, like, fishy pasta or something. <laughs> oh! Back down there. No cats on the table. What's in that pasta? Doesn't look like fish. Does he have? He's an arm. Yeah, he's definitely missing an arm. He has a hook coming out of it. You see that? <laughs> I think it's just holding his cloth together. Imagine getting caught on that. Oh. Holding the sleeve up. They don't know how to eat food. Cannibals! I mean, cannibals! What, what do fish eat, though? A lot of fish, fish eat other fish. That's true. That is true. Luca and uh, Alberto. And what brings you to Porto Rosso? This guy doesn't even have eyes. He just has eyebrows. And his cat has a mustache. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There he goes. He got a little surprised. I'm on to you guys. Machiavelli. He wasn't even the one to turn. For some reason, I really like this cat. Dave character so far. This is my your hideout. <laughs> yeah, my hideout. That's so cool. The branch leads into a room right uh -huh. there. That is really cool. Uh oh. Mom and dad. They're gonna turn. What do they look like? Tell me, dad's. He's gonna be a Look, short he little. He looks like a dra like a dragon. Just keep your guard up. Wait. Land monsters everywhere. Oh. Ah. Wow. He looks like a caveman. Horrifying. Who? Daddy. <laughs> like the guy from Flintstone. I mean, he's wearing seaweed pants, so. Red the Flintstone. Ah, this guy's been leaking. 
Oh my gosh. Wipe it off, wipe it off. <laughs> I see you guys. I see you. You two are coming with me. We're going fishing. You don't. Oh no, dude. The kitty's here too. In a boat, surrounded by water. I love that cat. Look at him. He's like the perfect little sidekick. I love how he squints. Hmm. He's always very suspicious. <laughs> Dude, they got beef. That's what oh, you get. Oh, cats hate water. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. All right, that you're not so bad. Good. Not a great catch today. Graveyard. Fish think it's haunted. Guys. Right about there. Yeah, they probably are great at knowing the spots. <laughs> yeah. So their world. <laughs> you personal best. Who cares? You're swimming. Right? Oh my gosh, look how many fish they got. <laughs> okay. Okay. They're not gonna recognize any like each other though. Mm -mm. Yeah, they don't know what their kids looks like, and vice versa. You got a pretty unique character build though. Do you really think you can get away with it? You thought we wouldn't find you? Well, guess what? We're just guessing. Oh. <laughs> You're just a monster. Literally a sea monster. I'll know my son when I... No, you won't. <laughs> I mean, he's literally still going by Luca, right? Yeah. yeah. They'll see him in the race when they go, Luca! <laughs> we're going to win. Love your confidence, but don't forget, we're going to have... What is Alberto doing? Eating pasta. I wonder who's eating pasta in their group. That's supposed to mean... You teamed up with this vagrant? Ignore him. <laughs> oh, I wish for you that you could. I'm afraid your friends still need to pay the out of- He reminds me of, like, Sheen. Or what's yeah. it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is that his name? Sheen's world. He had it on the show. <laughs> Missed that one. It was no good. They're afraid of you! What was the other kid's name? Baxter? See? Carl? Oh, Carl. <laughs> so wrong. I think Baxter <laughs> so might wrong. have been. Braxter. Maybe that was his last name. He got the gross little hairs coming out of his lip. <laughs> Probably like 14 years old. He said he's 16, but they. Oh yeah, true. I'll make it my mission to destroy you. <laughs> what happens if uh, Luca gets bullied and he starts crying? Mm. Would that water just do like a thing down his face, just blue down? Then you could say he's really blue. <laughs> Right, you get it? You have to use a corqueta. It's the rule. Ugh, rules are for rules. Oh, that's a big disadvantage, bro. He doesn't know how to use a fork. And he doesn't know how to ride. And she doesn't know how to swim. They should just be fish. Holy carp. No, I can't. Holy carp. I know, I know. <laughs> and remember, Picoletto. Oh Ew. my gosh. Did you see him wiggling that touch? Yeah. There's no, but I see some <laughs> No, don't splash them. Don't splash them. He was trying to hurt them, bro. She's going to figure out soon, huh? They could dry pretty quick. You kicked the ball like the other guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a good idea. Dip all them in water. <laughs> She's not used to legs, but has crazy dribbling. <laughs> She's good, Rob. You think she's better than you? Yep. Oh. He missed the door. I've done that. Big strong one. 
Andiamo. I'll be right back. You know, those aren't fish, right? Of course they are. Alberto told me all about it. Come with me. Telescope? You see a romance? I don't know. I think Alberto might have been a little jealous when he was leaving yeah. because these two are going to spend some time alone together. This is cool. I like this, like how it looks. Coraline? Huh? Look at that. See, like the Coraline poster? Yeah, but no. Right, that's the mo like yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're wrong. No. That's Saturno. It's my favorite. Saturno. They say if there was an ocean big enough to hold it, you would float in it. Whoa. Oh. Oh, hey. we're on Saturn. Much smaller than I thought. Oh, there's Jupiter. No Pluto, they kicked that little guy out of here. Where's Venus at? I think Venus is the first planet, right? Venus or Mercury. I think it's Venus, Mercury. Mars is after. Venus. Earth, it's... Mars. So this is how machines fly? See, and they're big towns. Dude, he's learning everything. I'm gonna use my school's telescope, so maybe I'll find out. That thing's huge. I wish I could show it to you. Just promise you'll tell me everything you see! He's so pumped to learn. I don't know if you guys knew, but did you know that Jupiter is like Earth's biggest hero? No. Because it eats like 95% of the asteroids that come towards Earth. Did not know that. The universe is literally yours! Wow. Thank you, Luca. Okay. He's mad. So jealous. He just turned into the cat. Mm. <laughs> Luca, sea monsters can't go to school. What do you think is going to happen when they see your fish face? Aww. Ah! Hey, look who it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? He just threw a spear at them. This kid <laughs> is unreal. He reminds me of a Sly Cooper villain. Nobody wants you here, idioti. Keep running. He actually looks like the guy who broke uh, Will Ferrell's arm. Sasha Bar Baron Cohen? Bar In Talladega? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he looks like. I feel like he's gonna find out that Alberto is a monster and kind of change his judgment on them. Yeah. That makes Bryce happy. Ita Italians love their their Espresso. coffee, cafe. Twist it, twirl it. He's uh -huh. so mad. He's losing his bestie. He's just having love. It's like I don't even know. Luca. Oh. oh. He is. Go, Luca. <laughs> we'll just write it like we did on the island. Together. Andiamo. That's Bruno talking. No, 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 no. This is bad. Oh, no. And we're fish. Eyes on the water. Ooh, ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're trying to hunt. It's fine. Nothing's fine. My parents just saw me. Luca, your parents aren't here. You don't know what you're talking about. Look, this town is making you crazy. <laughs> is that bird to a gaslighter? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> you want to go to school. That again? We can't go to school. You're just afraid you can't do it. <laughs> I'm not afraid. You're the one who gets afraid. Shut up! Yeah. No, we can't be fighting fighting like this, man. We're best friends. We're best fished friends. We're gonna see him right now. Watch, here comes a wave. We were wondering if we could come with you to your school. Santo Pecorino, that's the best idea ever! <laughs> yes, of course! <laughs> Julia, your school. Does it take all kinds of people? Oh, no, he's no. I doubt your school would even accept sea monsters, right? <laughs> Alberto's be about to become the villain. <laughs> I know. So let me just show you. Oh. <laughs> Trying to look as scary as possible. No. 
Luca. Oh, that's super shady, Luca. <laughs> I mean, what Alberto did was not cool either, but to pretend like you didn't know? I think naturally you'd be like, all right, man, you came with him, so. Are you a sea monster too? Where's Alberto? Uh, he left, Senor Arcovaldo. Do you know where he went? Him and Alberto were like, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were chill. You'll swim, you'll eat, you've done both before, Luca, and, and I'll do the ride. I mean, that's that's allowed, right? Luca. It, it should be fine. Luca. We're still okay. Luca! Oh. Do you think I want you to leave? This is the happiest I... Aww. You don't understand. No, I don't. Risking your life for a Vespa? <laughs> it's all for a Vespa. That does sound kind of chaotic. No. Alberto? I think you gotta go in the water and look for him. Not the Vespa, is it? No. What are you doing here? Oh. I feel bad. What was he counting? Gotta be something about his dad. I started when my dad left. You were living here alone for that many days? I just stopped counting after a while. Oh. I just thought that maybe he'd change his mind. Poor Alberto. He's been alone for so long. What if Alberto's dad is the sea monster hunter? I think you'd recognize him, right? That's why he went looking for him. No, I think Alberto would probably recognize him. Yeah. Right? Be like, oh shit, that's my dad. Oh. I'll go win the race. What? Yeah. Yeah. And then the best ball will be ours. And we'll run away together. Luca, that's crazy. That's what they wanted at first. But... Luca! <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad idea. He's going by himself? Oh, he's gonna cook. He's gonna swim and he's gonna absolutely cook. They're gonna see him though. Yeah. Swimming's the first part too. Yeah, I think he's still going with her, right? But... <laughs> no, he's going. Oh, he's wearing the suit. Smart. He's still gonna cook, right? Oh, yeah. Him way down is still ten times faster than all of them. Oh my god, there's people looking for sea monsters out there? I mean, he still gets wet in that, right? <laughs> that dude's lathered up. Yeah, he gets wet, but they can't see him as a sea monster. The fish are biting him. What is he doing down on there? On the surface, or on the floor. <laughs> Why are the fish biting him? Because he covered himself in like honey or something before. It was like olive oil or something. Oh. Good save. Dry off your head. Oh, he's go he's golden now. Yeah. He's good. But he doesn't practice eating. He doesn't know how to use a fork. Twist, twist, twist. Thank you. Don't break me. Oh, she's already done. Just don't puke. You just can't throw up this time. Cheating. Luca's gonna be good on that bike though. Better than What's her name though, Julia? Oh, imagine biking after eating. Oh, it's raining. No. I've heard of like fun triathlons, like mini ones that like, they have like beer stations in between the things. And I'm like, that just sounds oh, like a nightmare. I get drunk. And throw up.
It's like, have a beer and then run a 5k. <laughs> Are we gonna go to that hill eventually? Yeah. Bro. He's a jerk. Of course it's raining. Luke, er, Alberta's running up with an umbrella. <laughs> Jeez. Stuff? <laughs> I just saw it. He's gonna hop on the back like they did for yeah. the Vespa. Oh no. No. <laughs> My harpoon. Oh. It's time, Luca. It's personal. You have to save your friend. Oh yeah. Let's go. Your true self. <laughs> Come on, boys. Win They're this race. Win. win this race. <laughs> Stupid guy. Why did he do that? She's gonna win. Juliet's gonna win. Kick it. <laughs> Take him out. That's that we were gonna do. No, Juliet. Julia. Jul oh, Julia. I don't know why I'm saying Juliet. I think the dad's gonna come to defense. Luca? Alberta? Come on, the finish line's right there. Oh, yeah? Who are they, Dad? I know who they are. Come on, Dad. He's gonna save them. Luca and Alberto. They're good boys. They are Luca and Alberto. And... They are... The winner. Let's go. We won? Who cares if they won? They're sea monsters! No, sir. What's up, bitch? <clears throat> Yeah. What are you gonna do to him? Nathan. I almost wanna cry. Guido. Chicho. Here we go. Whoa, Dad, whoa, get him. <laughs> Look at the dad, He's weird looking. He looks, he looks crazy. like Freddie Mercury. They both have a mustache. I mean, they just covered up the... Can they live together now, you think? Hey. Let's go. We're the best team. Is that Grandma? Who are these... Wait. Uh, just other fish. Living and hiding. Oh, that's cool. I knew Big Dad was a fish. So, I think we all did, right? We saw him first. He was one of the first fish we saw. No, I met the one arm guy. Wasn't a, a He fish. wasn't a fish. But we can't let him stay in this world. Can we? Some people, they'll never accept him. But some will. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta fix this thing up before we take it across the entire earth. Okay, just don't forget to pack. <gasps> Front of Surely the they're dry right now, right? Pack. <laughs> like, why are they still fish? See the raindrops coming I down? I guess, yeah, okay. The raindrops coming down on their head. Ciao, ragazzi. A presto. Well, let's go fix up our Vespa. Yeah, about that. Uh, it's a crazy thing. I might have sold it. You sold the Vespa? Oh. You know, oh, he's going in. too. Mom? No way. What are you all doing here? Oh, they're letting him go to school. You can go to school. <gasps> I can? It's all arranged, actually. You'd stay with Julia and her mom. Your friend talked them into it. Aww. What's he gonna do? Okay. Alberta is the guy. He's the A1. You know I love you, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what a cute thing. Come on, Alberto. 
train's gonna leave. No, he's not going. You are coming, right? I would, but Massimo asked if I wanted okay, to Okay, that makes sense. He's got a father figure now. Yeah, he does. Wow. That's awesome. I can't do it without you. But you're never without me. Ah. Uh. You got me off the island, Luca. I'm okay. I'm so close to crying. Got a trick here. If you're close to crying, don't talk about it. I know. It doesn't help. Oh, Alberto the goat for real. Oh. Oh, my the island. Bad. It's their island. He gets to go enjoy the world. Go to human school. Fine. Fine. All right, that was Luca. That was fantastic. I loved it so much. Um, just another banger of a Disney movie. Thank you so much for making these movies, man. They're just so good. And just, I don't know, Alberto at the end, he completely just, he almost had me in tears. What a beautiful, beautiful boy. He saved, he gave up everything basically for Luca to go to school. And that's just... That's so heartwarming. He sold the best bud they've been longing for. And now he's got a father figure. Everything's going to work out. I just hope Luca doesn't touch too much water at school and get exposed. Because I don't know if everyone will accept that he's a sea monster. But just a beautiful story. Uh, so cool how these they came out of the water and hung out at this town and met friends. And won the town over. A sea monster hating town was won over by these two warm-hearted boys and it was so good yeah i thought this was another really really solid movie uh the end had me teary-eyed honestly i don't know if i dropped the tear or not but it was it was there i'm sure you saw it like i was really feeling the emotions like it it, it kind of felt like silly the whole time to me that they were like our dream is to get this Vespa. <laughs> yeah. yeah, such uh, little boys though. And yeah, I mean, that was kind of it. It's like, you know, sometimes you think like maybe you want this materialistic thing and it'll solve all your problems. But at the end of the day, um, they had other ambitions. Obviously, Luca, I'm glad he's with his family. Like he, he's good with his family, but he gets to go to school and learn. That's what he's meant to do. And on the other hand, Alberto, he was really long, I just think, for a family and for like love and now he has Massimo I believe his name is Julia's dad to work with and I'm sure yeah pretty much like adopt him and, and take him under his wing his one wing and uh just be a father figure to him so that's gonna be awesome I'm, I'm really happy for both of them I think they both taught each other a lot learned a lot from each other and hopefully they broke this uh, stereotype they have on the sea monsters. Oh, yeah. N not even just in this town, but just everywhere because the sea monsters are cool. They're awesome. I think I think they're cooler than humans. The fact that they can literally be both. Mm. They can be a human and get wet and be the coolest looking sea monster. I don't know. Yeah, I thought that this movie was pretty good. I thought that my favorite parts about it were like the visuals and just the, the setting. I thought all of that was so beautiful. I also just really liked the relationship between Luca and Alberto. They were just day one besties from the start and throughout the, the movie that their relationship was definitely the focal point. And the last 15 minutes of this, this movie were so, so good. Honestly, really liked seeing Alberto like do the right thing to, for his friend. I thought it was a cool little thing too, how they pretty much had Julia's dad become Alberto's new dad. I was I was waiting waiting for that like discussion to be had because he casually mentions his his dad in the very beginning and then wasn't really addressed until Luca found those uh, those carvings in the wall or whatever. His story was the saddest to me, honestly, just like how he was abandoned and left alone for so long, and it's kind of bittersweet that him and Luca are separating but I think they're both doing the right things for themselves and they'll still be friends even if they're not technically together all right guys well that is pretty much it for this movie if you have been liking all of our movies for the 25 days of movies please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we got a bunch of early access for a bunch of movies over there right now 
go check those out. The rest of the links are going to be for our social medias, our Discord, our PO box, all that good stuff down there. And with all that being said, we will see you guys next time for our next movie for the 25 days of movies. Peace out.